a three-minute guide on social bookmarking, we're going to use socialmarker.com. One of my readers sent me an email and said, how do I use Social Marker to drive traffic to my website? Socialmarker.com is a uh, nice consolidation of a lot of different tags. And you can see here's all the different bookmarking sites. If you don't understand bookmarking, watch my three-minute guide to social bookmarking. So you have a bunch to choose from. So let's say that I go to my internet tutor and I see that it has a nice video on how search engines work and I want to bookmark this. Well, first what I did is when I came to this site, I noticed that it said use Firefox and that's what I have now. Then it has this nice little icon that I can bring up to my toolbar. So I just bring this up and then when I get to a spot, I can drop it into my toolbar. And if I just pull this down, you can see I have it right there. So when I go to my Internet Tutor, I just click, I want to mark this. So it brings up Social Marker, and look what it does. It pre-populates these two pieces. It takes the title from my title tag. It takes the link of my website. Now it asks me to enter some text. So I enter a basic description and then I put some tags. Now remember, if you watch the three minute guide to social bookmarking, tags are not keywords, but they're like little buckets, baskets, folders for information. So I put these search engines, SEO, internet basics, and how to. Now, if I click to submit this, I'm gonna do all these sites and for sake of time, I am just going to do, pick, I'll pick five. All right, so I put those five. I have this information. It'll clear up here, and now I click Submit. And it is going to all these different sites. You can see it transferring data from Dig. Uh, we're digging through your submission here. I already have accounts, remember? So if you don't have accounts with some of these, make sure you have accounts. So it pre-populates this in there for me. I'm going to select Business. All right, so it has been submitted. All right, now you'll notice that we have moved on to uh, delicious and it pre-populated these, but it didn't pre-populate the tags. Well, this is where this is pretty cool. If I go up here and look below, the tags are all below, so I'm just going to copy, paste, have it in there. So now I want to save this. Now you notice when we come to Technorati, it says it already pre-populates this, and then I just say sign in. So I say that that's been added to my favorites, and I say okay. All right, that's your three-minute guide to socialmarker.com. Easy tool to use, helpful tool to use. It does get hung up, so don't worry about it. I would not select all the sites at once just because of the way it gets hung up. I would only do a couple at a time to work your way through. My advice on using this, but I do like it because it has everything pre-populated and then when I go to the site I can just drag or copy and paste the information up and it just makes it much easier and much faster. Anytime you have a way to do things easier and faster, saves you time, that makes more money. Thanks for listening.